Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, got Chris with me. Hey y'all. And we're talking about something that I received last night from our father by way of uh, concerning the video iPad Go. Okay. I think I got a new revelation last night about iPad Go. Oh, you did? Yeah, and it may be just new to me. So if you guys have seen this before, if somebody else has seen it, you know, let me know. Maybe this is just confirmation. But it came to me about 1 o'clock this morning, mm -hmm. um, a particular scene in iPad Goat that I've been struggling to understand. Yeah. What were they talking about? Um, but just a, just a little bit of background, one of the viewers, one of our um, viewers sent us a link to someone who had done an analysis of an iPad Goat video, of the iPad Goat video. Okay. And it, you know, kind of prompted some of the ideas that I'm, that I'm having. Um, and I didn't get to watch his whole video. Maybe he even talked about it in there. Um, and like I said, if, if so, that's just this is just confirmation. But what I did learn from his video was that this is the plan of the Illuminati okay. or the plan of the New World Order. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like they wrote it out as a script what they plan to do. Mm -hmm. I, I'm still mulling that over. You know, it is real interesting because there's a lot of stuff going on in our pet goat. But, you know, I, I would definitely not argue that this is their plan yeah but anyway let's see this particular element of their plan um we're coming up to about five minutes but i'm going to back up just a few seconds uh starting here where you see this water breaking right here okay i think this is kind of pointing to the whole woman in travail thing but you know plenty of people talk about that water breaking but right after you see the water breaking you see this figure right here it's probably caught my attention because of what I saw in another video. And I'll give a reference. You guys can check it out. See if there's anything else good in there. But one of the things he said was um, how there were certain elements of this video that points to the year of the tiger. Okay. Yeah. And you see right here, she has a tiger or he has a tiger tail right there. Right. Yeah. Striped you see that tail. striped tail um, indicating that possibly, you know, this is the year of the tiger. And when we come, we find out that the year of the tiger started this year. Yeah. 2022 is the year of the tiger. But what I wanted to show you here was what happens next after we see this guy. Let me go ahead and play the whole thing here. We appreciate you guys in the comment section. If you would go ahead and uh, stop and pa pause the video and type out what you think that is before we go on, mm -hmm. you know, just to compare notes. Um, before I share what I think it is. Okay. Because like I said, I think this is a new revelation. Starting at about five minutes in this iPad Go video. Let's step through here frame by frame and show you what I mean. Okay, first thing we notice is the clouds here. Yeah. Right? Now, I never really noticed that before until this insight. But you see that these are clouds. Right. Even their faces kind of look smoked out as if they're kind of cloudy. Right, but this what's on the what appears that they're standing in is definitely clouds. You can see they're even fluffy looking. Right, almost wispy. Okay, um, yeah, they definitely look wispy. Um, but then notice what happens right here. If this is the cloud, then what is that? And that would be something with a tail of fire flying through the cloud through the clouds or above the clouds is actually shooting up from under the clouds mm -hmm. right and so this whatever it is it shoots straight shoot straight up in the air and then watch what it does next after it goes up in the air now look at all of the clouds down there below and it also looks like the economy and looks like the economy or the economic systems is destroyed but look at how it's destroyed in a mushroom. Mm -hmm. What this appears to me, or what I believe I was told, is that that's actually a nuclear strike. Uh -huh. Yeah, really? that's yeah, as the missile exploding in the upper atmosphere, creating an EMP that destroys the world's economy. Oh, yeah. I received all of that, you know. And like I said, this may be secondary confirmation if somebody else, you know, has gotten this information. But I definitely received this last night that this was a exploding in the clouds. That's why it's showing us the clouds. That's why the mushroom cloud appears to be upside down. And then when you go on further, you see the economy, you know, squirting away over there. But 
Again, that's why the mushroom cloud appears to be upside down, and I believe that's why we didn't recognize it right. before, is because we're up in the clouds. We don't see that we're up in the clouds. Yeah, you know? so the cloud would be, well, the blast would be going down instead of up. Right, and by detonating it in the clouds would create an EMP that would destroy everything. Right. And you got to remember, these guys are prepared for war. War comes next, right? So they don't mind being without the internet and television. You know, that's the last thing on their mind. Right. These these guys are, you know, plan on coming in on foot if they have to. They're definitely coming in in armored tanks. And so everything on the home front, I guess, would be destroyed because you can't have you. Once the EMP comes through, your cars, your trucks, your trains, your buildings, they're all fried. Most of your sophisticated weapons are gone. Um, yeah, communications is down, everything, you know. And that's why the MP is more dangerous up there. You know, it doesn't have to kill people necessarily, but it can um, reach a wide area. Reach a, reach a wide area. And I believe this has a lot to do with the so called rapture and such. Matter of fact, let me bring you back over here to Google. Have you ever heard the phrase, bombs come down, we go up? Yeah, I have. Yeah, this kind of, you know. That's what they. They're, they're expecting, you know, that, you know, this so-called rapture would take place, you know, when the bombs come down. And, you know, according to this phrase, the bombs come down first. Mm -hmm. And I, the way I believe this will all work in reality you know, is that once our economic systems are destroyed and our phones are taken away and all these other distractions go away, that will give us the opportunity to see where our father truly is. Right. You know, where he truly dwells. And that's in our spirit or in our conscious you know, and talks mm -hmm. to us from our dreams. Well, you know, a lot of these other distractions get in the way of that. So they need to be destroyed. They have to go away first. And when these bombs come down, then we will have the opportunity to go up because we won't have all of these distractions getting in the way. Right. And so that's what I believe he's showing us here as this missile. I mean, what could it possibly be? Well, you know, they... They have hypersonic glide vehicles now, or HGVs, which are basically warheads on a plane-like thing that skips across the atmosphere since it's going so fast. What did you call it? HGV, or hypersonic glide vehicle. Oh, so these are Chinese weapons? Yeah. And I think the Russians have some hypersonic stuff too. Right. They have that, the Vanguard. Right. And then we have scripture from Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 4 that implies that all of this goes down over there in Olivet. Yeah. I think this is why when you see videos about the 144,000, they tend to look like this, where you have all of these people surrounding this figure. Yeah. Of course, he's coming back in his spirit. He won't be he won't be humanoid or anything like that. He won't be a man standing on a pedestal, but based on what we saw over there in Zechariah chapter fourteen, this could very well be Mount Olivet. And what we're seeing in iPad Goat, it could be the bomb that hits Mount Olivet over there in Jerusalem first that creates this hole that's in the middle of these people who are now surviving or in standing back watching or looking at this event that's taking place over there. Mm -hmm. Basically, this would be like that lightning that would flash from the east. Going from the east to the west. Yeah, and if they actually exploded it in the atmosphere, that would make the sky crack. Yeah, because you know? it, would be, it would look like the sky was on fire for a few minutes, maybe. Right. Absolutely, and it will come from the east to the west right. as it ionizes the atmosphere or whatever. And then you think about, you know, how the book of Revelation says that, you know, one third of everything is going to get burned up. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, what are they going to do to the ozone layer if you explode a nuclear bomb in the middle of your atmosphere? You can blow the ozone layer and punch a temporary hole in it and cause everything under it to burn up and be full exposure to the sun yeah no, you can't stand under that no so um maybe we can convince them not to do it we can definitely pray against it yeah so i guess that's all we really can do and with that i guess we will get the praying for it